Good morning, everyone. I'm Dr. Sangan Ang from Soparam Seminary. This morning, I'm going to share the word of the Lord from the title, Make Your Apartment or Make Your Condo Holy Place. In this pandemic situation, how can we come nearer to the presence of the Lord by having new concept of worship, which which style of worship place do you prefer? Okay, uh, please look at the photo. The big oak tree. In ancient time, our father of faith, Abraham, regarded it as a holy place, tall oak tree. And then today, uh, whenever Christians are building worship place, they always put up pinnacle standing toward the sky and then another the sharp long pinnacle with a worship place and then beside the worship place church building there is a big tree growing together but the when the first christians were suffering from severe persecution by roman empire they ran away to the mountain area and the interland of Turkey, it is called Cappadocia. Cappadocia, there are many pinnacles, sandy pinnacles, uh, and then they made their home individual house and then they make worship place underground. Inside the cave, they made worship place. So. Or what kind of worship place, what kind of sanctuary do you prefer? So, this morning, I'd like to recommend you to make your dwelling place, house, apartment, or any condo to become holy place. It depends on your understanding of what is true worship. Okay, in the third century, Christians came to Cappadocia and Turkey, which became a center for education. Pressure, persecution from the Roman Empire on the Christians increased between 303 to 308 AD. But Cappadocia was an ideal place to be safeguarded from the pressures and to spread the Christian doctrine. Deep valleys, shelters dug into the soft volcanic rocks created a safe heaven, haven, heaven, safe heaven against the Roman soldiers. In 11th and 12th centuries, Cappadocia pressed into the hands of the Seljuk Turks. The region spent a period without trouble subsequent times under the Ottoman Empire. The last Christians in the region migrated from Cappadocia back to home, back to home place in 1924-26, leaving uh, these beautiful architectural examples behind. Okay, uh, look at the photo. This is Cappadocia, individual house including the big worship place. Now it became the pilgrim, the sightseeing tour, many Christians are visiting and they are learning the Christian attitude. In the midst of persecution, they, they would not give up their faith and they run away, even though it is uncomfortable. And then they enjoy the freedom of Christian faith in this place. Okay, look at the picture. This is Turkey. Western part is along the seaside, there's a Christian area. But as Romans conquered this area and they became rebellious against Jesus Christ, the Christians migrated to Interland, the red color region, that's Cappadocia. The location of Cappadocia. The monastery of Cappadocia developed considerably during this period 
Arab raids started to affect the Christian regions in Anatolia from Armenia to Cappadocia. People, Christian, escaping the invasion and coming to the region changed the style of churches in this area. Okay? Uh, there's a look, there's a photo. The Jesus is hanging on the cross. This is the uh, worship place inside the cave. The lower part. Uh, this is the scenery of the Cappadocia. What is significant? The, uh, there are many towers are standing. Okay, pay attention to standing tower, standing tree, standing monumental, standing uh, these altar stones. And the Christians uh, love to stay in the midst of many pinnacles, standing pinnacles, standing towers. Okay, uh, have you ever heard this word? Where my love is, I am home. Where my love is, I am home. Okay, where my Savior Jesus is, I am safe. So, the word, where my love is, I am home. Uh, this is one of the dialogue uh, of the movie Fiddler on the Roof. When Jewish people on the persecution in Russia, the one young boy, young college student, joined the street rally against the dictatorship of the monarchy, and he was arrested. Then he was deported to Siberia refugee camp, and then his sweetheart, a Jewish lady. He decided to travel long distance, travel more than one week by train, slow running train. It took more than one week. And then during winter season, the temperature go down below 40 and then 50 degrees, very cold. But she made a firm decision to visit the selfish camp to stay with his beloved one. But father uh, trying to make her stop going there, but her daughter said, where my love is, I am home. Papa, uh, pray for me. I'm going to visit this coldest area to stay my love and then to make home. So even though uh, physically we are in trouble, but as long as I enjoy spiritual freedom, then I am happy. That is the attitude of Christians. You know, uh, look at this picture. The high pinnacles, full of high pinnacles, and then they made the homes and the worship place there. Okay, I'm going to read the Bible text from the book of Acts chapter 10, verse 30 to 35. Cornelius answered, Three days ago I was in my house praying at this hour. At three in the afternoon, suddenly a man in shining clothes stood before me and said, Cornelius, God has heard your prayer and remembered your gifts to the poor. Send to Joppa for Simon who is called Peter. He's a guest in the home of Simon, the tanner, who lives by the sea. So I sent for immediately, and it was good for you, it, it was good of you to come. Now we are all here in the presence of God to listen to everything the Lord has commanded you to tell us. Then Peter began to speak. Now. I realize how true it is that God does not show favoritism, but accept from every nation the one who fears him and does what is right. Okay, now, uh, Peter, Apostle Peter experienced in Cornelius' house 
mighty anointing of Holy Spirit for the first time outside from Jerusalem okay according to the general thinking of Jewish people the anointing is given among the high priest or the people in Jerusalem but a special anointing mighty anointing of Jesus Christ was given even outside the Jerusalem city outside the holy city okay Jerusalem's so holy city is so called the the center temple center worship place in Israel but uh, this mighty anointing Holy Spirit happened outside Jerusalem this is the region of the pagan people and then in the house of Roman centurion pagan's house okay pagan's house the apostle the apostle Peter preached the gospel and then what is important thing is this the Cornelius the pagan convert pagan convert said in this way uh, now we are here in the presence of God to listen to everything the Lord has commanded you to tell us okay presence of God the term presence of God originally it is referring to the temple place holy place but this pagan convert Cornelius said we are here we are all here in the presence of God to listen to everything the Lord has commanded you to tell us it's amazing confession of faith even the Roman Christ, the Roman convert okay newly converted Roman convert he said we are gathered in the presence of God hmm? what kind of faith it is he is he's really newly well orientated oriented the concept of faith he has okay Peter Peter realized later than Cornelius pagan convert now I realize how true it is that God does not show favoritism but accept from every nation the one who fears him and does what is right this is the cultural manner among Jewish people they never enter into the house of pagans why inside the pagans house there are many idols pagan idols are standing that's why uh, to enter into any house any place where pagan houses are standing spiritually Jewish people are defiled defiled become unclean spiritually that's why they would not enter into defiled pagan place but that's why Peter was hesitating but angel of the Lord encouraged him enter there yeah, so he entered there it was the starting of the uh, revival meeting inside the house of Cornelius house so this is the point even inside the pagan's house even inside the pagan's house heavenly blessing blessing of Christianity blessing of Jesus Christ is granted okay so imagine your house might become the, the place the origin of the powerful revival powerful anointing of Holy Spirit okay uh, now we, we are looking at the picture two pictures left one the picture of Philippian jail it is located in Greek Paul had experienced anointing of the Spirit mighty anointing of the Holy Spirit even inside the jail for the first time okay Apostle Peter the right one uh, Apostle Peter experienced the powerful anointing of the Holy Spirit descending on even pagans outside Jerusalem for the first time okay whether it is your house or it is in the jail or prison 
if there is God worshippers, holy worshippers, who are seeking the presence of God, then God is willing to bless them. God is willing to touch them, anoint them, even inside the jail or prison, even inside the pagan's house. Okay? Uh, this is what we must believe in. This is what we must experience in this pandemic situation. It means God is everywhere. God is omnipresent. Okay? God is everywhere. This is Christian God. Now, uh, we need to repeat the Garden of Shechem. Garden of Shechem was the first holy place uh, found by the Abraham. Makom means standing place. Standing place. Okay? We must understand what's the meaning of standing, standing place. To stand before the Lord means I'm serving the Lord. Okay? So if, if one of you say, I stand in front of the Lord means I am serving the Lord, okay? There are many ways you serve the Lord. There are many kinds of church activities, evangelical activities. As long as you serve the Lord, you, you are devoting your life in sharing the gospel, then you stand before the Lord. Okay, the Spirit of God is everywhere for there are tall trees. Okay, this is a symbolic sign. Tall trees are standing. Two, monumental stones are standing. Three, altars are stones are standing together. And then I am also standing. I am also serving also. Okay, tall trees standing. What do you imagine? Tall trees are serving to provide cool shade for all worshippers. Wow. Okay. So, while you are serving others, while you are helping those who are in trouble, that you are serving the Lord, spiritually speaking, you are standing before the Lord. Okay. This is the way we can be blessed. This is the way we can be protected by God. Okay. Uh, look at this pictures okay uh, who is he lying down sleeping while you're sleeping the angels going down and going up having a ladder this is Jacob it means Jacob was sleeping on the wilderness uh, but God is with him amen and then next photo uh, monumental stone standing in, she uh, in Shechem. Also, uh, the very big stone is standing. This is Gezer in the northern part of Israel. This stone is standing. This is the, the sure ancient the signboard to pointing this is a worship place. In ancient time, Gezer was a uh, worship place. And then this the oak tree also this is a sign of holy place in ancient time. Okay, you may choose your own sign of the holy place. You can make your own the faithful sign. Okay, uh, we need to learn more about the oak tree. Great oak trees are symbol of holy place. Genesis twelve six. The famous terebin tree, uh, in English people they say terebin tree. It is oak trees. In Hebrew, alone or Allah is the sure sign that there is a spring water around them. Oak tree bear numerous number of fruits, which symbolizes fruitfulness of descendant of Abraham. Look up, God said to Abraham, look up at the sky and count the stars. There are, he saw numerous stars, and God said, So shall your offspring be. Genesis 15 5. Okay, Shechem, there is a pastoral valley, beautiful pastoral valley, green meadows, and there are many oak trees are standing. It's a remarkable for its wide spreading branches and its dark green foliage. 
Abraham chose the place for campsite. Okay. Uh, look at this very big oak trees. Mm. How many people can can dwell can sit under the tree? More than one hundred people. This very in this great tree, great oak tree provides cool shelter for many people. And then uh, it's blooming. After blooming, it bears fruit. So many uh, fruit are bearing. Uh, it is called acorn, a kind of nuts, very delicious. But the, the, this shape of the, the nuts, what do you imagine? Fruitfulness, circumcised people of God. Okay, according to Genesis 12, 6, kum means stand up, meaning rise up which is the root word makom, the holy place Shechem. Okay, kum, what do you imagine? Kum. When Jesus approached the dead daughter of the high uh, officials, the just died, the daughter, Jesus commanded, Talida, kum, kum means rise up, Talida, daughter, little daughter, Talida, kum, rise up. The, that's the significance of holy place. The people who are discouraged, uh, people who are depressed must be risen up in this first place. Okay? Number one, what we must imagine in holy place. Two mountain tops are standing upward. For example, in the Bible, Grecian mountain, Grecian mountain, Ebal, they are twin tops. Number of witnesses, twin, two number of witnesses are standing up to heaven. Okay, in relationship with Cappadocia, Cappadocia, the shish, the, the white stone, ash stone, the mountain tops, there are so many standing pinnacles, geologically standing pinnacles. Artificially, the people uh, make standing stone stand up. But God made uh, every holy place according to the biblical idea. Wherever there is a twin tops, it is regarded as holy place. Okay, number two, stone tablets are standing upright to heaven. Stone tablets. These are stone tablets in Gezer, the lower portal uh, in Megiddo. In ancient time, those places are, uh, were the worship place in ancient time. Three, be very big oak trees are standing to provide the resting place for worshippers. Okay, to provide cool, the shade, the cool resting place for worshippers. Uh, that is the way of the oak tree to serve the Lord. That's the meaning of standing. Stone altar is standing upward to heaven. Okay, five, I myself, I who believe in Jesus, I myself must stand up. It means I must serve the Lord every day. Okay. Everybody has his unique talent. Everyone has her, his or her unique talents. It depends on your gift, depends on your talent. You can participate in church ministry in the Evangelism, personal evangelism, guru evangelism, mass evangelism, the overseas evangelism. Okay, whatever you do, or uh, smartphone evangelism, whatever you do, you serve the Lord. Okay, if you serve the Lord, then you are the standing one. As you are standing one in the presence of God, as you serve the Lord, presence of God is accompanying you, and then. You are protected, okay? You enjoy blessing. That's the spiritual secret, okay? Okay, by the ancient Hebrew picture letter, Shechem implies that the place where women must rise up 
women must stand up. It means where even women must serve the Lord. That's the meaning of kum. Early in the morning, the women must get up earlier to prepare worship to the Lord. Okay, the grammatical meaning of verb shakem is get up. Shakem means, shakem comes from shakam, means get up. That's the grammatical meaning. Get up, rise up early, make an, the early start. Okay, Christian, okay, Christians are encouraging to be diligent. But according to the ancient picture letter, it implies a little more concrete nuance, a little bit more concrete nuance. Shin, okay, shin means woman, woman breast. So you could interpret mother or wife. Okay. Kof, sunset time. Sunset, sunrise, that's a daily worship time. And then mem, picture of water wave, to draw water. Okay, attempt to interpret. Shakam means woman worshippers shin at the sunset time or worship time, rise up early for what? To draw water at the fountain. Number two, nuance of Shakam is where all worshippers must be alert to prepare worship, <clears throat> drawing water, cooking, taking a bath. Washing clothes, okay, you must do everything to attend worship. They must be up and around diligently from ahead, from ahead of sunrise and before the sunset, which is a time of daily burnt offering. Okay, uh, now we are very happy. I'm very happy to share this the new spiritual lesson with you. Now we understand Shakam. Oh, that's where woman, woman can up and around, okay, in worship place, even today, the number of the women among church members, uh, they are majority, they are very diligent, they are very much devoted, okay, in mission field, in mission activities, even women uh, can be used by God, can be anointed by God, okay, and then in that way, even women stand up, men stand up together. Stand up means we serve the Lord, okay? In this pandemic situation, as long as we are serving the Lord, as long as we are standing upward by faith, then we enjoy protection of God, we enjoy the wonderful, miraculous the supply of God. Then we can enjoy exciting moment okay may you enjoy heavenly blessing may you be excited by the presence of god may you be the amazed by his wonderful presence and anointing in jesus name amen god loves you i love you too